Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as Austria-Hungary in the Battle for the Phosphorus Expansion. So, happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates it. I know it's a, you know, it's an American holiday. Obviously, the Canadians also celebrate it, but they have a different day that they celebrate it. So, you know, if you're not American, then I assume you don't celebrate the holiday. Thanksgiving is easily my favorite holiday. Uh, I really like that it still has maintained the, the overall meaning uh, it's just about getting together with family, enjoying a good meal together, uh, family and friends, some people have friends over I suppose, and just getting together with people you hopefully enjoy being around, and enjoying a great meal together, and giving thanks for the things that you have, rather than so many other holidays, which is just about what you don't have and what you want. Uh, so yeah, I really like Thanksgiving. It was a great family, family holiday, and we always do something kind of big for it, you know, we have a big old feast and, and uh, just really have a, a big family day. Uh, we, we are going to be doing it uh, here at our house, uh, just us four, my wife, myself, and our kids, uh, but still, it's, it's still a big deal for us, even if there's not like a lot of people here or anything like that. Uh, yeah, it should be fun, uh, so I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving as well. Uh, before we jump into the episode here, just like with the CK3 series, I gotta gloat just a little bit, because uh, I just got closer to accomplishing a goal that I've been working on for years, and uh, I'm really proud of it, so I always uh, kind of fill you guys in. I know you may not care, uh, but back in like late 2018 or early 2019, I'm not exactly sure when it was, I had set a, a goal for myself to be the strongest that I've ever been. Uh, when I was back in high school, I weighed about 225, and I was able to bench 300 pounds, and so my goal is, is basically just when it comes to the bench press, uh, and it's uh, to, to bench more than that. So 305 pounds would, would achieve the goal. And I did just last night. I was able to max bench press, so one rep max, just one time. Uh, I bench pressed 290. And I actually felt like I could have done more, uh, honestly. I, I felt like I could have pushed out about maybe 295. So yeah, I'm really, really close to getting that goal, guys. 15 pounds away. And I'm quite proud of myself, quite happy about it. Uh, that here in my 30s, 34 years old, uh, that I'm uh, the strong, gonna be the strongest I've ever been. And so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in. Got a little closer to achieving that goal. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, and jump into today, today's episode. Uh, so, we could probably win an attack here, so I don't know why we wouldn't. Let's go and do that. Let's just turn down the seconds uh, a little bit as well. Uh, we cannot win that attack. Maybe that's why we weren't doing it. Let's go and pull it back. Uh, we have these troops almost cut off here. We just got to get that port right there. So, yeah, this invasion uh, is going well so far. Uh, we're even holding on to this. I don't know if we can build here yet. No, we cannot. Uh, but one thing that somebody noticed in the comments is that we did get the skilled staffer trait, which you get from having a full 24 divisions in your army. And with that trait, we can now have an extra six divisions for 30. And we just happen to have six of these 40 width divisions trained up. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move them uh, over to, which front do we want them on? Probably just this front here, actually. And let's go and move them onto this front. And then they'll slowly make their way on over here. We do have a port in the Caribbean, so they will be able to go through the Caribbean. Kind of risky, honestly. Uh, we'll have to see, hopefully they don't get sunk. Um, I'm not worried enough to, to not send them through the Caribbean. I'd prefer that they get here quickly. Uh, so hopefully they do get here. Uh, let's see if there's anything we can do on this front line. Looks like we're already doing everything we can do. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just go and let it play. You know, uh, if we can get any wins here, we will. Our troops are pretty weak right now. Uh, and of course, the small little port here is resulting in some supply issues. Uh, maybe it's just the mountain actually that's resulting in some supply issues there. Uh, these guys are about to leave, um, and this is wide open here, so let's take it. Um, let's send smaller divisions over there. It is a fortified province, so we'd actually have to attack these guys here in order to stop them from leaving. And let's actually send another division so we can kind of capitalize on that opportunity. We'll just have them support that attack. Just try and lock them down long enough to take these provinces. And in fact, rather than send all these guys over here, let's send one over to that one. It looks like they're completely abandoning this front now. All right, well, that's kind of silly on their part, but yeah, we'll take it. Uh, it does look like we did fail the invasion of Boston again. Uh, not surprising, I suppose, uh, but still unfortunate. Still a lot of troops over here as well, uh, but they are losing their attack on us. And uh, just make sure we're doing okay over here as well. Yeah, we're doing fine. Okay, uh, so are the, the purple divisions over here just yet? It looks like that's a no. We're still waiting for them to get over there. 
We're also waiting on the tanks to arrive, which they are almost here, the Blue Army tanks. Uh, they are on their way. So keeping those troops locking down, and hopefully we can take some territory. We'll just have to see. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on down here. Are these troops cut off? They are. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get them destroyed now. Uh, we did win there, so now we just have to win here. I'm going to see if we... No, probably not going to win there. So we'll just support this. Just try and get this done a little bit quicker here. Let's send this guy over here as well. Have them go here. I'm not entirely sure why he came over here. Maybe because he was supposed to cover this. I don't know. Uh, but we don't want him there. All right, and he's going over there to grab that territory. Excellent. Anybody else need to advance? Uh, looks like we are in a position where we could be cut off here. Might have to retreat. I know we're bringing more troops in. Um, we did win there. So we'll just go and let them take that. Uh, we could have this guy go here instead of helping him out there. I mean, we're clearly going to lose here, so let's just retreat. I, I don't want to get ourselves cut off, guys. I don't think it's worth it. All right, so we finished up the cipher in Peru. I'm not entirely sure where we want to do next. It's really not a lot of places. I, I suppose we could do Guatemala. I don't think any of this honestly matters, but again, so it doesn't it doesn't matter where we do it. Remember, this territory is technically ours. <laughs> we own this territory here, uh, up here. Uh, but remember, we never got to do anything with it. And so it looks like we might need one more division down here. I'd like to advance here, but if, if there's too many troops there, then we won't be able to do that, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys, they can move over to this front, and they can complete this order here. Alright, fantastic. It's getting some stuff done over here. Did we win over here? Uh, we did. Alright, so we took both of these uh, provinces here, and so now we have to try and take this province here in San Diego, or this one here. You know, it'd probably be better to go up that way. Just let them... Well. They have a port in San Diego. We'll try and go to both. And then have these guys come over to this province to cover that for us. And then there's nobody here. Let's go ahead and send some troops across to grab that province there. Still trying to get all this territory taken as well. Might not get the win here, but yeah, it looks like we will. That's actually not exactly what I want to do here, so... Yeah, we won't be able to cut them off. Eh, that's kind of a, a shame. Probably shouldn't have done it that way, but is what it is, guys. If they actually, you know what, let's let them come here and have that territory back. Yeah, if they want to come back there, we can cut them off. Yeah, we'll do that, guys. I'll just let them have it. Uh, we can't advance, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Start pushing forward and taking some of this territory here, guys. Uh, while there's nobody here to uh, stop us. And these guys can now go over and grab that province. A lot more troops over here now. Uh, we're going to be vastly outnumbered, it seems. Trying to get that wrapped up there. And these guys are no longer facing any resistance up along here. So we could go ahead and push forward across the river, I suppose. We are in prime position to be cut off. Uh, let's make sure we get some fighters over here. And uh, probably some close air support if we can fit them. Uh, how large is it? Yeah, we could fit some close air support as well as a, a fighter wing. So let's get them moved over here and providing air support. Uh, in this air region. And now we're just looking for those close air support guys, which we'll just do these ones. Might have some threes available, but we'll just let them automatically upgrade. All right, so we'll have them cover that region for us. Fantastic. Uh, so I don't think there's anything else we need to do when it comes to the Air Force. Can't really build up any of these air bases just yet. You'll notice I also assigned naval bombers over to here. Uh, I don't know if those will be effective or not. We'll just have to see. The Italians still hold that there. Uh, remember, we do have the, the nuclear weapons that we can use here. Uh, if they have arrived, the uh, tactical bombers, or excuse me, strategic bombers, which they have. So that means we can drop a nuke on anybody, which is what we're going to want to do in order to uh, try and get troops cut off here. Uh, so the way we'll do it is attack. Let's see how's the best way to go about doing this. We want to get these guys here cut off. A lot of American divisions there. We're going to want to get them cut off and destroyed, and we're going to make use of the nuke to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's just try and see what happens here. We're going to want to wait to attack until after we drop the nuke. So we're going to let that add up, and then we'll attack here in a minute. Oh, they're actually they're attacking us, so we'll have to attack with these guys. We'll attack with both. We'll drop the nuke and see if that will result in a win. Looks like that's a no. 
Alright, so we'll just have to defend here. Yeah, it looks like we're not gonna get a win there, guys. Unfortunately. Yeah, we're just not gonna get a win there. Alright, so that's a shame. We still killed all the troops that we killed. These guys can go and stop as well. But yeah, we have to get a win over here. Just probably too many divisions there, and our divisions were too weak. The organization was too low. Uh, so we have two divisions assigned here. Let's go and have one more come down here. Give them a third division. So we don't get cut off down there. And remember, we have more troops coming here as well. And we have the tanks that are almost here. And yeah. we're going to go ahead and get these guys assigned to right here. And they'll be able to make use of the tanks, guys. Or excuse me, of the nukes. Yeah, we just didn't have the, uh, the numbers here yet uh, to really do that. But we tried. It still did the casualties. It did what it did. So it wasn't a complete loss. Uh, so we have taken uh, this province here, resulting these troops are now cut off. Let's see if we can't get them defeated here. Uh, and the tanks are here as well. So let's go ahead and get them assigned. Uh, we're going to want them coming over here. So they can advance up towards Los Angeles, uh, as well as get these troops here cut off. You know, this is what we're going to do. We're going to split these. We'll have uh, the light tanks solely assigned that one take maybe one light tank division have him you know we're just gonna use all the light tanks up there and try and take as much as california as possible the americans are making some some major mistakes here guys uh they are not playing well uh we now have these tanks here that could go ahead and attempt to uh arrive in mexico and california let's just split them up and send uh half into mexico and half into california i suppose uh, so how many of these, oops, that's right, we didn't want to do it that way. Uh, I want to see how many of each we have. Uh, looks like we have six and six. So let's just do half and half. We'll do half of the light tanks and, uh, well, we can use these little red notifiers here to determine which ones still need to be assigned. So let's assign them up over here and we'll go ahead and give them an order as well. A planning bonus. Yeah, none of it matters since we're manually controlling, so it doesn't actually matter how we draw it out. And then the last six would then come on over to here. Uh, let's make sure we're building up the port. I, I believe we are. Uh, yeah, we're building the port up there. We'll just keep on getting that built up. We're building that one up as well. Uh, do we need to build anything else, though? Uh, I suppose we can build that. We'll take that up to the, to the top here. Make sure it gets done. And we don't have control of the state here, so still can't do anything in Baja, California just yet. All right, uh, so a lot of troops coming down here. I think getting all the way down uh, to the Panama Canal is going to be nearly impossible, unfortunately. They're still beating us here. These guys might be able to win here now, though it's hard to say because it looks like there's any more troops over there. Trying to get all of these guys cut off here and avoid attacking in mountains if at all possible. That would be for the best. Uh, the new troops that we sent, how far away are they? Let's just take a look. All right, so they just left Portugal, so it's going to take them some time to get here. Uh, yes, that's right. The uh, I never looked at the American Navy, how many ships we had destroyed. We destroyed net more, though, at this point. You see a bunch of destroyers. I meant to look at that next, last episode at the end, and then I, I completely forgot, guys. So let's dip through here and take a look, see what our uh, submarines have done. And it uh, looks like they do have a fleet here, by the way. And we cannot reach there with those naval bombers at this point. So... Just go through all these, and then we'll take a look at how much of a fleet the Americans still have left. All right, so let's go ahead and go to there. We can see how much manpower they have left, 2.74 million, quite a bit. Uh, and then we have their, their Navy Intel here. They have 55 ships, <laughs> 55 ships. And we know exactly what they have here because we do have 100% Intel all the way across. So as far as uh, battleships, they have two battleships. One carrier, which we saw is down here, uh, 48 destroyers, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, no submarines. So that's it. That's all they got left, guys. Uh, so they're not doing great. Uh, we should be able to actually seize control of all the sea zones now, I would expect. We might even be able to seize control of that one. I don't know. Uh, do we still have troops here uh, for this attack? We do. Um, let me just go ahead and get the blue. Let's assign the blue army. These guys can go here. We'll try and attack there again. And I want to say... Yeah, they, they'll start going. And then what we need to do is get our submarines here assigned to this zone as well. 
We're gonna sign on to both of that and see if that changes anything, guys. Uh, what is that to see? Let's see how things go. All right, so these guys have finished conquering here, got ourselves another port, and they're gonna take that for us now. That might allow us to build here. No, still can't build there. Huh, I wonder why. Probably because we need to take Tijuana. Yep, I bet that's why. We need that victory point. All right, so the, the tanks are here. Uh, let's go ahead and start advancing. Let's keep on pushing forward here, guys. Uh, still waiting for the tanks to get onto this front, but these tanks are here for the purpose of attempting to attack in San Diego. And that would be a win. All right, let's go ahead and get the tanks, uh, the light tanks, excuse me, uh, pushing forward here and try and get, uh, again, just as much territory as we can with those light tanks. Uh, same thing with these guys here. Uh, in fact, let's have this one go up this way. Yeah, we want to get up to that air base if, if at all possible. So we're going to go that way. Really want to get Los Angeles under our control. All right, so trying to get the win there, take San Diego so these guys will be cut off from supply. Uh, not seeing too much we can do here, though. We might be able to get a win here, so we'll go ahead and attempt that. And we'll have this guy uh, support that attack. See if there's anything else we can do here. Still waiting on the tanks so we can push forward there. Uh, we might be able to grab that province, maybe. Uh, they're attempting to uh, push forward here, and we don't want that to happen. I uh, don't know what they're doing. Uh, let's have them stay here. I don't know why they're going over to that port. That didn't make any damn sense. Uh, more American troops here. We did win right here. Um, but I don't know where to go next. Could we beat these guys? We could not. So let's just pull that back and instead attack over here. Still waiting for this other division to get down here. It's taking a sweet time. All right. So yeah, just winning there or losing right there for now. Again, once the tanks arrive, that situation will change. Let's go here now. Start entering into Arizona. All right, so these guys are now cut off. Let's get them destroyed. We don't have to worry about this any longer. Let's just destroy them. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so Los Angeles will soon be ours. It is ours now. Also stopping the troops that were attempting to arrive there. Uh, let's take a look at Alaska, see if they started pulling back here. Uh, they still have 19 divisions there and 13 there, so it doesn't look like it yet. Uh, is our purple army here in Hawaii yet? Let's just take a look. They are. They just arrived. So uh, more than likely, we're going to have to wait to send them for a little while until they get their organization back up. All right, so sinking convoys and not really a lot of troops at this point here. Uh, and we still haven't left here just yet. All right, a lot of troops of ours and the Germans all coming across the sea right now. If they had submarines, it'd be great for them, but they don't. I don't know what the British have. We haven't really looked at their force yet. Who knows what they could end up having. Uh, this is open here. We could win, but more troops are coming, so I guess we should just wait. Really, we just need to wait until we get the uh, the troops, guys. Until we get the, uh, the tanks, I mean. Which, they're almost here. Uh, they're on their way. And yeah, we are losing territory throughout here. We just don't have enough troops to cover all this, so we will have to have the tanks come and help us with it. So they don't advance there. We are about to lose here. Uh, we lost a, ter a little province there. Uh, could potentially cut them off by getting the win here. Uh, there's not very strong troops there, so let's attempt to get a win here. They do have a fort, though. Uh, we did win there as well, so these guys might get cut off here. Uh, let's go ahead and get these factories assigned. Uh, there's something I was going to do here, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, there's something we are waiting to build, but I'm not entirely sure what it was. All right, uh, I suppose it's fine. Uh, what do we need? Do we need anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty stacked on just about everything at this point. Yeah, we've uh, solved our losses. That's right, we're going to get those planes once we, we got the techs. So yeah, really, we just designed this anywhere, essentially. Maybe just something we want to get upgraded. And getting those mechanized uh, upgraded, I suppose, would be helpful. All right, so do we want to move these planes to this uh, area now, or do we just want to wait? Probably should just wait. I'm, I'm actually really surprised that we can't build here. Oh, we can now. All right, I wonder why that was... Oh, we took Tijuana. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, we can now build here. Don't really need to, though. Uh, frankly, don't even need to build that, that naval base up any anymore, either. Uh, we have San Diego and Los Angeles, so we can just build it. We'll let it finish, but we don't really need to build there anymore, guys. We can get the radar station, I guess, though. So that's always helpful. And we do have control of California enough to build here. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and build it all up. Might as well. 
All right, so let's go and tick up these things at the top. We're building here in California. All right, could nuke these guys, but I want to do it once we're attacking. So we're gonna have to wait. Army experience is getting up. We could make an improvement to our tanks, I suppose. We're gonna be a little bit limited on what we're gonna be able to do here. We just don't have the troop numbers. We might just be stuck defending, in fact. Yeah, we're already at a point where we're about to get cut off here, so. And these guys are still advancing. So we'll probably have to pull them back. Frankly, we just don't have enough troops down there. We don't really have enough troops anywhere, though. Overall, we're short on troop numbers here. We could pull this army back from here, although now we're the only ones defending. It looks like the Germans have pulled back to yes, elsewhere. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have these guys come over to here now. Because, yeah, we'll be the only ones defending there. We might even be able to push forward because it looks like the Canadians and the Americans have pulled back a lot on the troops there. Uh, still can't do this attack here. Uh, even, yeah, even with their low numbers, I, I'm guessing the British are the ones there. Now yeah, we sunk another destroyer there. Two submarines lost here. Yeah, we're losing subs here. So let's just take a look, see if we want to replace any uh, ships here, which I imagine we do. We're just going to take most of these, throw them over there. And this guy can go over here. All right. So, seeing a lot of losses here, might as well pull these back. Uh, they have brought troops here now, guys. Uh, so, advancing here is going to be slow. Alright, so he's coming over this way. Let's go ahead and have him advance. I, I want this to be a nice thick front here, if, if at all possible. Alright, so all the green army should be assigned to this front. If they're not, we're going to fix that. Make sure they're all assigned here. Could advance here, but yeah, I don't. I think we're stretching ourselves out a little bit too much. All right. So yeah, just trying to get these defenses done with guys. Uh, defending there as well, I'm trying to get win there. Uh, yeah, until we finish these defenses, we won't be able to attack. Uh, we can go ahead and attack into one of these two. I think the 31 divisions would be the most useful area to attack. So let's go ahead and drop a bomb on them. And then we're gonna attack them there, guys. As soon as it lands. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and attack with these two light tanks. The medium tank won't be able to attack just yet. Hopefully that'll turn that around. And then we can have these guys go in now. It's a lot of division, so we might not be able to win despite the, the nuke. I don't know though. Nukes are, are absolutely devastating, so maybe. All right, so we did win there. Fantastic news. So that'll cut off any divisions here. In fact, we should probably go and attack those divisions there so they can't leave. So I don't know if we'll get the win here or not, guys. We'll have to see. They keep on attacking us uh, with their divisions that haven't been nuked, so that's causing us some problems there, guys. Uh, these guys can now reduce their overall front size here. Come over here and help us out on this attack there. In fact, we'll just have them go all the way over, whichever the quickest way to do that is. Go and see what else is happening up here. Make sure we're still advancing up towards San, San Francisco and Sacramento. We want to get this air base as well, so let's go ahead and seize that, seize control of that. Uh, these guys were defeated, unfortunately, uh, by who? I don't know. Let's go and get some wins here. Uh, we'll just go to this way then. Just kind of push forward where we can. We don't want to lose that air base, so that's important as well. Make sure somebody stays there and defends that. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's... Uh, I don't know why that guy's going over here and instead of defending the airbase. So we'll have to fix that. Alright, so let's just see if there's anything happening over here we need to be aware of. Sunk a lot of destroyers. Not much left of the American Navy now at this point, guys. So yeah, these guys will come over here and then maybe we'll be able to advance there. Still waiting for these troops to go. Having some difficulty with that. And these guys look like they are ready to go, so let's go ahead and take the, the Purple Army and give them orders uh, to go ahead and attempt to land there on that island and from there they'll be able to launch further invasions where if they fail then it's you know not as long of a wait and it looked like they did destroy this unit here damn it yeah that, that happens sometimes guys yeah that's a real shame so we'll have to send them another division that's a that's a bummer let's send them this guy here get him up to 30 divisions uh, again and then we can go and take the troops here that are trained and get them placed uh, it looks like these are a lot of these are medium tanks, so we'll have another medium army here that we'll be able to bring in. Uh, 
I almost want to just put them here. Now that the Germans are gone. Yeah, I think we might end up putting them over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We also have these troops here. So what we could do is just combine these two and have them be like a little bit of tanks and a little bit of infantry. I think it might, might be what we do. Let's go and take them and put them into that one. Yeah, that's good. So move them over there. That gets them up to 22 divisions. Uh, if we have any other extra ones, we'll move them over there as well. All right. So I know the tanks aren't good with naval invasions, but we might have those tanks do that naval invasion anyways. Stay here, guys. I don't know why these guys keep tempting to leave here. Don't think that's going to work out well. Cross the river into mountains. Again, just trying to lock them down enough uh, to get the win here. These guys can now support this attack because they're no longer being attacked. These guys still have to defend, though. Yeah, they're never going to be stopped defending. Getting the win there. I think we will push through here, guys. All right, excellent. Very good news. Uh, let's see what's happening over here. Make sure we're continuing pushing forward. I can go all the way across there. Although, we should probably cut these guys off. Yeah, let's go this way. Get those uh, troops there cut off. We'll have that light tank destroy them more than likely. Or whoever gets over there. It doesn't really matter who does it. Uh, so, we can get rid of this. Get rid of some of these orders here, guys. I don't have so many orders going across the sea there. Kind of clear things up a little bit. I lost another submarine there, unfortunately. Yeah, such a bummer we lost there, guys. Real shame. Uh, once these guys leave, maybe we'll attempt to attack there. It does look like we're losing territory down here in the south. I was kind of worried that this was going to be an issue. And yeah, we can't get the win here either. Damn it. Try supporting that again. Having some difficulty trying to get that win there, guys. And it's a lot of troops. And even with the nuke. Uh, we're building another one, um, but I don't know that we're building these fast enough, guys. So let's go ahead and build more nuclear reactors. Can always use more. So let's get a, a few more of these. We'll get one in Venice, I suppose. And then take these up to the top here. All right. So yeah, things are starting to go, guys, finally. Took us a while. Took us a long while. Uh, to get some things going here, but it's starting to starting to happen. We're making things happen. Uh, is there enough troops here to push forward? Not yet. They're pulling a lot, but we gotta wait until we get these ten divisions over there, guys. It's not another destroyer there. So yeah, I mean, they, they had like what forty eight destroyers. We're getting it done. Uh, oh, the blue army got all messed up. God damn it! Shit. Hate how they do that. So yeah, we want them to attack that way. Still trying to get the win there, guys. Got to do it while they're weak. That's a lot of troops that we're defeating. I mean, if we win. All right, so looking good. They are in a position they could cut us off here, so we might want to defend that province. Still waiting, I think, for those green army troops to get across the Atlantic, get over here. We are vastly outnumbered down here on this front. This is a serious problem. They're pushing forward and taking... All that territory there. Uh, I see the Germans have arrived here in Mexico, so that'll be helpful. Uh, let me see if I can't get the win here. No. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, we'll keep it going. Looks like it's going to be a win. Uh, and... Uh, looks like they, we failed that attack there. Yeah, that's a bummer. Alright, well, let's go this way across the river then. About to get San Francisco here in mere moments. Did they pull off of the Alaskan front just yet? Um, uh, maybe. I can't tell if we just won this battle here. You can see that some troops are clearly retreating here. Let's see if we could attack here and win. Yeah, it looks like we would be able to. So let's go ahead and push forward there. So yeah, pushing forward across all fronts. With the exception of this one, of course, where we're just defending. And I guess this one, too, where we're actually losing territory as of right now. And we just don't have enough troops down here. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh wait, that's this guy. Who's the other division coming here? Is that the one I sent from far? Yeah, I think it is, guys. So let's go and take uh, wherever this this new division is. This is him here. He can come down here. We're probably gonna need him. Oh, we did win this. Finally. Good God, that took forever. All right, so now we can go and attempt to, to get them cut off. Uh, so there's one point here, or we can go this way and then go up that way, which will cut off even more troops. 
I think the best point is probably to go here though. Try and get the win right there. So let's let's do that. Let's see if we can't get the win there. It looks like that would be a loss. Probably gonna have to use another nuke, guys. So we'll just hit the wait. We'll just defend this territory for now. Alright, so we did take that. We didn't mean to, but we did. Uh, so we'll keep it. Um, we might need to stop these guys from moving. Doesn't look like that'd be a win. Uh, they're about to take Mexico City back, so that's unfortunate. And we do have planes there. So we'll have to attack them there. This is just, uh, we just don't have enough troops here, guys. Uh, to get this done. The green army's, you know, too stretched out uh, right now. We have two separate armies here. What we're clearly going to have to do is create two separate armies and then throw the divisions in here once these guys are done training. Uh, let me see if there's anything else we can do. We have these guys leaving already. We could go ahead and take some, several of these, I think, and get them switched up. I think that's what we're going to do. Get them switched up to the... Change them over to the, the 40 width. And then get them thrown into this training army here. Let them train up. Uh, the Red Army is still over here. Could bring them into this area for attacks, but I, I really want to get a new theater open here, uh, a new front, which we're going to do with this army here. So I don't think they'll be doing any more naval invasions here. Uh, so let's go ahead and now get rid of their current order and then set up uh, a naval invasion. And we're going to hit it like two ports. I, I don't even care where we win here so these are in the same locations i think you can also attack right there so we'll just split them up and do three you gotta win somewhere you'd expect it's all in the same sea region so all right guys so yeah very very outnumbered over on this front here i almost want to go ahead and split these armies up and and separate the way we're doing this so that they they have a clear you know design here but because i think this is a little bit confusing for them uh we're going to take that they still vastly outnumber us in this territory. Uh, we should be able to make use of that other air base. Oh, we don't have the other air base yet. That's right, we're still trying to get control of it. So we might need to go ahead and build this air base up then. I wasn't planning on it, but if that's the only air base we're gonna have, which we don't know, that we'll get control of this one here because uh, it is well defended. So yeah, we might have to do that. All right, so we did lose that attack there. So that's a shame, we might have to attack with these guys. Uh, and there are a lot of Len lease offers. Apparently we need anti-tanks. You know, let's just cancel these. And then instead, you know, put more... Well, we have 20 factories going into it. Okay, never mind then. Can we get the win now? No. Yeah, might not be able to win there, guys, without the, uh, the nukes. There's just too many troops. So we have to wait till we get that, that nuke built. They are still advancing here as well. Let me see if I can't get there before them. Make them fight us? Probably not. One day in five hours, it looks like it's the quickest one. Three days in 23 hours for us. Let me see if I can't lock them down. Probably not. Yeah, I don't expect we'll get there in time, guys. We can try, though. And just kind of rotate them out. Uh, I don't think we'll get there first, though. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Could have took the railroads, I suppose, uh, to get there first, but... Uh, we would be able to push them back here, but you know what? I mean, I guess that keeps them locked down. What if we were to try and get these guys cut off here? That's a possibility. We'll try for that. And yeah, just, uh, I don't know that we're going to get there in time, so we're going to have to attack these guys again. Make sure that they don't get Mexico City from us. So yeah, it's, it's just, uh, that one nuke that was wasted, that was pretty bad. All right, so I think we're just about done here, guys. Um, can we beat this army here across? Let's just take a look. Uh, we're moving incredibly slow. I'll see if I can get here, but yeah, we're in prime position to be cut off here, so. Yeah, this is overall not quite going the way I'd like. These guys need to stop their attack. There's clearly, not, it's not gonna work. We're attacking across a river here. I'm not entirely sure why we're doing it that way. This guy got defeated, unfortunately. So having some difficulty, again, they, they just outnumber us by so much. And so that's really where the problem lies. And then try and get a win here now, again. All right, so it looks like we did win there. Maybe. We forced them to retreat there. Uh, we are winning here, so we might be able to cut that division off. 
at 79% towards getting that new nuke. We do have some dockyards. Uh, we'll just put them into to convoys so I don't feel like messing with them right now. And we might want to take a look at our submarine situation, see if we need to change these up at all. Uh, see if we need to place these anywhere. Uh, let's do them all into this one. We won't be able to do them all. We'll have to do two. And then he can replace the losses there. And then over here, it's not as important. Let's n now start pulling back on the, uh, the amount of submarines that are going over there. Focus here on this front. So we want... Okay, so probably put one of these over here. All right, beautiful. All right, so continuing sinking those destroyers. Again, can't be much left of the American fleet. Uh, but I think the British fleet is what's causing us problems here. I think that's the British that are causing us issues there, guys. Yeah, we might just have to give up on that attempt. So far, it has gone miserably. <laughs> All right, so we can try and attack to get this port here. I've been trying to get this port for some time. Uh, let's see if we can't get it this time. Failed every other previous attempt. Let's see if this one ends up being a success. Maybe, but maybe not. There's a lot of troops there. We'll try it though, we'll try it out. See if it works. All right, so yeah, just really outnumbered here. We, we did get all these tanks here, uh, so that'll be helpful once they come over here though. They're not coming due to a lack of supply, uh, so they don't want to come over there. So what we might end up doing we did retake that province there. The Germans took it for us. And we've retaken this one as well. Let's see if we can't get a win here now. And then we'll support this stack. See if we can't get a win there and push them back. And then we have this division here. One of these guys is coming over to this province here, I think. It's that guy. So let's instead bring this one. And then he can stay here once he arrives in his current location. So we might need to stretch the blue army out here just a little bit. See if that'll make them move. Yeah, that'll result in some of them moving. So let's just put them in this area so that like uh, they cover these these locations so we don't get cut off here. We don't want them to be cut off. I mean, they have a, a port so they'll be able to leave, but yeah, that's clearly uh, something we gotta change up. So yeah, we'll put a win here until we get the nuke. And we almost have it, 87%. We're now in San Francisco. This guy's coming here, and it looks like he should arrive. Uh, looks like that's undefended, so we could go ahead and push forward there. Just going to look for places where we can cut troops off. Uh, it does seem that we're about to lose there, so we're going to throw a division over there. Might end up losing here as well. What is that to see? Uh, we won. Excellent. Uh, let's take a look at the Alaska situation. Did we finally win here? We did. I think so. Yep, we're going to push forward there. Fantastic. Uh, it looks like this attack here... Uh, is that us? No, that is somebody else attacking so they'll be weak when we get there uh, it looks like the japanese are currently attacking there so yeah with just the weight of all of our combined armies with our allies and stuff i feel like that's how we're gonna get this win here oh these guys are about to be cut off i should have left them moving there let's see if they can't get there in time i don't know what does that see guys they're going as well let's see if we can't get the win here quickly because this guy is currently cut off so if we send enough troops, maybe we can get him destroyed in time. Alright, so slowly, ever so slowly, getting some things done, guys. Let's see if we can't get somebody over there. Because, yeah, we don't want them to reconnect here. We want to try and stop that. Alright, so these guys are going to now try and cut this division off. But we might not be able to win in time. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, so yeah, this guy's coming over here now. He's still going up there. When does he get there? Two days and zero hours. This guy's got two hours, so yeah, we'd have to attack and we'd probably defeat him. Yeah, this is not quite the way I want this to go. Let's try going up here towards Sacramento now. All right. 92%, we did defeat them there. Fantastic news. Wasn't sure if we'd get the win there in time or not. And it doesn't look like they're able to defeat us here anyways. All right, so maybe that'll be the point where we drop the nuke, perhaps. Looks like it could be a good location. All right, almost have all our troops down here to just put up a defense there. I don't really care about advancing that way. I would have, but not if it's going to be difficult. Uh, I'm just not willing to do it if it's going to require a lot of effort. Uh, we now have the nuke. Fantastic. So now we have to figure out where we want to use it. So we can use it here, or we can use it here. Uh, using it here does cut off the troops that are here, but using it here doesn't cut off anybody, and then you still gotta get to win here. 
Huh. But we might be able to. It's hard to say, though. With the number of tanks we have, it's really hard to say. Uh, here we're attacking into the plains. Well, here we're attacking into the jungles. So I guess that's the main difference. So let's go ahead and drop the bomb here, then. We're going to go ahead and attack as soon as it's about dropped. We're going to want to send additional troops as well. Send some tanks up here. Bring these guys in as well. And then these guys can also attack. Alright, so right about now, let's do the attack. And this should hopefully be a victory here. We're bringing in more troops to assist. More tanks. And so, hopefully we win there. And it's not aggression pack. We'll just turn that down for right now. Alright, so it looks like we did win. And then the point is now to go as quickly as possible to this location. So because of that, we should probably attack here to lock these troops down uh, with the, the tank that just arrived. Attack them there. And same thing with this guy. Have him attack there. Again, just trying to lock these uh, divisions down until we take this, this territory here. Alright, so let's see what's going on over here in California. Unfortunately, we did lose right there. Uh, can we get somebody else over there in time? We'll have to see. Alright, just looking for other areas where we can push forward. Could probably win here. I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll attack them right there. That should be an easy victory. Defending there successfully. And we now have more uh, of an airbase here. So let's go ahead and have... And we're currently... We have everybody here. We should probably send one here. So what we're going to do is let's send these guys here. Oh, for whatever reason they can't cover it. The lack of range... So they're stuck here. All right, well, that's a shame because I really thought they'd be able to cover this area. Yeah, that's a real bummer. So unfortunately, the planes we get here will not be able to help cover in California. So that's a rather negative, unfortunately, but nothing to be done about it, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we sunk here. Uh, we got more destroyers, got a light cruiser sunk. Yeah, they can't have much of a fleet left at this point. Still not able to do that invasion there, guys. It's just, it's never going to happen. <laughs> I think the British, I think that's one of the few territories they have left. And so they're just defending it hardcore. Uh, how long until these guys are able to go? 80 days. Jesus Christ. We are sending a full 24 uh, divisions, though. So that's the reason why. Uh, we did win here. Fantastic news. Let's go ahead and delete this here. And let's go ahead and make use of it. We're going to want to build this up uh, a bit. I don't care if we waste resources building more than necessary because again it's just not that important and let's go ahead and get these guys set up to do a naval invasion here I'm gonna try the Northwest now uh, we'll see if that works we can also try and cut these guys off this way uh, they'll be right there it's it's kind of difficult to do to cut them off though I don't know how well that would end up working uh, I think they'll just retreat uh, we could try and do two separate invasions here I suppose yeah that's what we'll do we'll do two separate invasions guys uh, one into Seattle. Oops, I guess we got to set up where we want them to invade from. One from Seattle. And then we'll do another one into uh, the, the port here. I think it's that province. I could be wrong, though. Let me just double check. I am wrong. All right, so we want to do this different. Let's find out where that's at. It's this one right here. So it's going to get rid of that and set up an naval invasion right here. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and have like 10 divisions going this way here, and then we're going to take some of the divisions here and get them moving over to do this invasion. We'll probably need more than two. Uh, we don't need as many divisions here, though. Yeah, nowhere near as many divisions here. And what we do need to do is have this be the new zone here so these guys will all move forward. Uh, but you know what? We can just take these two that are here and have them come do this invasion for us. All right, so four going that way, 10 going that way, leaving 10 up here to defend. Uh, I don't know if that'll be enough to get it done. Maybe we should send just a few more then. Maybe take uh, two more of these guys. There we go. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Uh, 16 here, and then just eight that are right here, I think. Yeah, eight that are here, although, yeah, that's right. They have to take this province first. 
All right, looking good, guys. Looking good. Let's see how things are going here. Uh, we're still winning right there, just barely. Uh, but yeah, still currently winning, still locking those troops down as well. We have taken the province. Excellent. Now we need to go ahead and go straight over to this province now, uh, immediately. Still locking those troops down there. Need to get this defense done to even be able to get over there. We do have those tanks going now. Uh, let's keep these guys here. It kind of sucks that they took off on us. Uh, that's not good. And not really seeing them do anything up along here right now. I'd like to thicken this up a little bit. So with these guys just sitting here, I know this is attacking in the mountains with tanks, which is not wise, but so these guys stay here. Yeah, I think we should take that promise there. And then maybe even try and attack this one too because they're trying to push forward here, which is obviously not good. We can even try and attack there. Even just to lock them down. Okay. Uh, we don't need to cover this territory here. Alright, so we, we gotta get these guys to stop moving. Alright, so we have taken this location. This is fantastic news. This is uh, a lot of divisions that are currently cut off. We're looking at 44 plus those four. So 48 divisions that are currently cut off from supply. This is massive, guys. This is absolutely huge. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to get these guys destroyed now. And we can go ahead and push forward here as well. There's nobody there to stop us. So let's advance there. Let's try and attack that one. Looks like he would end up winning there. Let's go and attack up this way. It's going to be a tough fight overall, though. Trying to get those divisions actually destroyed at this point. Also, all these guys just arrived, and they're still coming up here to the front. So that's going to take time. Uh, let's see what went on over here. I don't know why all of our troops just pulled back here. It seems like a lot of the Blue Army troops that were here have decided to uh, change up their front. So that's not good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, why all these guys are leaving. Yeah, we're back up to 12 now. Uh, yeah, they just decided to change things up on their own. They're going to do their own damn thing, apparently. Alright, so hopefully we'll hold on to that now. Uh, you see that we are currently losing, but there's only one division there. Uh, so we just got to wait for the rest to get here. A lot going on right now, guys. Sunk three more destroyers, plus two more. Alright, fantastic news. Not much of a, a navy left, I would assume. Jeez. Let's go ahead and train up these troops that need to train. I'll let them train. I know that they could be attacked any moment, but I feel confident we'd be able to win there. Even if they did attack us. And those troops don't have much training left to go. Sunk another destroyer there. Alright, not entirely sure what's happening here. I think these are all Italian evasions again into this point. Just trying to get a win there. We'll see if they're successful or not. The Italians have been launching invasions all over the place, so... Now we just are going to try and keep hold of this here. Uh, I assume that those planes... Uh, you know, I don't really know where they went, actually. Because they're not over here. Uh, let's just see if we can't find them. Okay, so they're over there. So let's bring them back over to here, guys. And that'll open up this zone here for more planes. To help us out. I'm trying to get this win here. Where you can see that we're currently losing in all these attacks. Now, they are cut off from supply, but that's not enough. That's not enough, guys. Uh, so we are winning there across the river with just one tank division. That's surprising. Uh, we're also winning here. All right, let's see if we can't cut these divisions off right here. Though it looks like we already won, so we probably won't be cutting them off. No. All right, so pushing forward across there. We need more troops here, so let's go and take some of these blue army tanks here. They aren't really doing anything. You can come over here help us out so we can try and get these guys cut off from supply and we just want to bring them all the way down so they, they help us out because yeah we are having some some difficulty here just because of the number of troops i mean it's almost 50 divisions sitting here uh so i mean we're obviously like vastly outnumbered we just can't let them get a port which they're nowhere near a port so it's it's not really an issue uh so i don't know who's doing an attack here is that not us looks like that's not us okay so we're fine don't want to do that attack. We're just going to lose. Looking for other areas where we can push forward here. Not seeing any, guys. It looks like they even, they're even pushing forward against us right now, unfortunately. Yeah, we are having some difficulties uh, up there. Just too many divisions. We need more fronts opened up 
to stretch the Americans out even further. Let's see how these guys are looking. Still training up a few of these, so we'll let them finish up. And looks like we might have sunk some more destroyers here. Yes, sir. All right, so yeah, I just I just don't see them having very many ships left. Now they are still building ships, of course, and they still have plenty of dockyards as well. We might need to use a nuke to be able to get the win here and, and finish this up. This is again, this is gonna be a tough fight here, trying to get all these troops actually destroyed. Uh, we might be able to attack there now. Yeah, we'll just attack them there. Push them back there. Still winning there. Still holding out there. All right, excellent. Holding here, you know, we have San Francisco. Didn't get Sacramento though, uh, but there's an open province there, so we'll attempt to take it. See if we can't get to Sacramento. How long until this purple army is ready to go? Let's just take a look at them. Uh, 35 days total for the, the larger invasion, which is the one into Seattle. So we'll see how that ends up going. Looks like we pushed here, but then left. Let's go ahead and support this attack. They can have that again. I don't really care about that location, honestly. Let's try attacking here again. And we're going to try and move over to here. I don't know if we'll get there in time. I'm going to attack those guys. Remember, they, you know, they're getting weaker and weaker the longer this goes. Since they don't have any supply there. Not attacking over here. Alright, so holding all, out all throughout that territory. It looks like we should be able to keep this air base as well. Send some troops over there, make sure they don't take that from us. He's going up over that way. And looks like we should get across here. We just move so damn slow because we don't have control of the skies. It's been uh, difficult because of that. I don't know if the Germans are retreating there. It looks like, the, it looks like they might have held that province for us. Uh, we did finish up the research here. We're going to keep on going with the heavy fighters. I don't know if we'll actually even need these anymore at this point uh, because things are going fairly well. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to have to be the end of the episode, guys. I lost more subs through here. Yeah, I feel like we just got to give up on this, guys. I I'm done. This is We spent way too much time as it is on that location, guys. I think it's time to just go ahead and send all these divisions uh, over to this front now. Uh, where you can see we're having some difficulty here. Something got messed up. Let's actually tell these guys to stop. What are they doing? Yeah, let's just have them stop here. And then let's have the entire army uh, assigned to this front now. We'll just get rid of this here. And then have... Yeah, we should probably get rid of this as well. It's going to mess things up if we don't. And then go ahead and extend this. Because it looks like somebody won uh, a naval invasion here. So go ahead and have them extend over here and help us out here. Alright, so looking good. We might need to attack here. We'll see if we have to or not. We're going to send... Some troops over this way, and a few troops over this way. Try and lock these guys down or whatever. Alright, so those are wins now. Alright, excellent. Yeah, the Italians are being very successful on their invasions here. Which, remember, they're our puppets, so... So that's fantastic news that they're doing so well. Alright, so let's go and go through here. We'll take a look at all these, uh, these cowboy raiding battles here. Oh, it looks like we did lose that location. Damn it. That sucks. All right, so we got to send all these guys again. That's a real shame. We lost there. All right, so we'll have to do that again. Uh, winning all these battles here. Uh, you know, slowly getting these guys here cut off. and uh, Or, excuse me, uh, destroyed. They're already cut off, obviously. Slowly getting them all destroyed here. Taking a little bit of time. We've pushed forward here. Uh, yeah, multiple locations. That's excellent news. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on pushing uh, forward. So the uh, tanks that are here can now come up this way. Uh, we don't really need all these here, so let's have them focus solely on this area here. Well, pretty much anything that would result in troops getting cut off, so we'll have to cover that one as well. Looks like a lot of these troops here are assigned to this location. Let's change that up and instead of have them assigned to that location. Although that's all of them. I don't want all of them assigned here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, looks like the blue army's messed up again. Yeah, some of the divisions that are here have left. God damn it, man. This is like, uh, irritating me, honestly. I'm not entirely sure why these guys keep leaving, um, but very, very frustrating that they keep leaving. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, either. Like, why? Why are they leaving? And it looks like we actually have an extra number of troops here I got messed up as well. I think these were green army troops. There we go, so that'll fix that. 
So it should be back to 12, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Why that's getting messed up, guys, but yeah. Very, very frustrating. So yeah, we'll have eight on here. And we could even attack right there uh, again if we wanted to. Looks like that would be successful. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at two things. First of all, the ships again. We'll see just how many they have left. 24 ships remaining. Uh, again, they must be building pretty fast. Uh, kind of make up for some of the the, sink, the ships that we actually sink. Let's go and take a look at the casualties. So we're at 481,000 now, 369,000 by the Americans. Uh, Americans, or excuse me, the British, we killed 205,000 now. Canadians, we've killed uh, 69,000. They have 190,000 casualties total. And then the Americans are currently 36% uh, towards capitulation. And we have killed 2.5 million. So hundreds of thousands of Americans have died in this episode, guys. All right, so things are going very, very well. Um, if I had to guess, two more videos. Uh, we'll have them defeated. I don't think there'll be one more, just because there's still a, an absolute ton of American troops. Uh, even the ones we cut off and destroyed, the ones we sunk in the sea, uh, even when you count all those that they've lost, they still have 361 total divisions, guys. That is a lot of troops. Uh, deplo deployed manpower is 2.92 million. Total remaining manpower is almost 3 million. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, they're, they're still a very tough enemy guys they're, they're not even remotely close to to being done at this point but look at the, the the actual divisions they have barely any tanks guys they have two medium tanks so we put those anti-tanks in our units and we probably didn't even need them and they barely have any tanks it's all infantry i don't know if we can see anything about this uh, about the makeup here it says no intel requires army intel 80 percent we're not at that we're 75 percent okay so that's why so yeah, I can't see what their their exact uh, template is there for the infantry template four. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's <laughs> yeah that's all they have. Uh, they don't have any tanks, so that's interesting. How many troops do the Canadians still have? Let's just take a look at them real quick. Ten to sixteen divisions. That's it. Uh, five ships. How about the British? Let's take a look at where they're at because I think they do still have a little bit of a navy. They have nine to twenty three divisions. We don't have a lot of intel, in, uh, army intel on them. And 147 ships, so they do still have a lot of ships, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's causing us problems here. Uh, so again, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this invasion. I'm done with it. It's just been nothing but defeat there and uh, losses of submarines, frankly. Uh, so let's go ahead and take them off of that zone. Is this the zone? Yeah, this is this guy here. We'll take them off that zone. I don't know if like they need to cover that any longer, guys. Uh, so yeah, we'll just cover these ones here uh, that we're currently already covering. Uh, let's see if we've got any more submarines to add to them. We do. And you know what? I'm going to actually add these two over to here now because yeah, we need them. Alright, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys do enjoy your Thanksgiving if you're celebrating it. The next video will be Saturday. It should be Saturday when it when it usually is. That's the plan anyways. Uh, so we should hopefully have a video on Saturday. That's that's. Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, so I will see you guys on that Saturday episode. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.